when they announced that the Defenders and all those shows were happening, everything was coming up Netflix. And then you fast forward five years later and everything is not coming up Netflix as they're all cancelled. It was an interesting ride, it was an experiment, but Marvel TV's Jeff Loeb opens up about this experience and how they had no idea what was happening and suddenly everything was gone. So Marvel TV's Jeff Loeb is the guy that works on the Marvel TV side of things. Now some of you might be a little confused as to what I'm talking about in case you're new or you don't know the nuanced details. There's Kevin Feige who runs the movies, there's Jeff Loeb who runs the TV shows. Yes, they work together and they talk to each other, but Kevin Feige is going to now start producing Marvel TV shows by the Marvel Studios brand, which runs the movies. The Marvel Entertainment brand, where Jeff Loeb is a bigger part of and a bigger voice, he runs more of the TV and he's not going to have as much influence into the Marvel Studios thing. This is just a connection, you know, that they two have. They're under Marvel, but they serve different purposes. Marvel TV, Marvel Entertainment, was working with ABC and they were making those Netflix shows. They thought everything was going good, but as Jeff Loeb just recently revealed, no, no it wasn't. They planted ideas and seeds into seasons that they were hoping to pay off in the next season, and then one by one, he said they just got blindsided, his word, by what was happening because every show was getting canceled. And, and you can kind of see how this goes because because once again, let me tell you um, just a quick logistics behind it. Marvel and ABC make the Netflix shows. Netflix pays a licensing fee. ABC and Disney pocket the money. Netflix pockets the money from the subscribers. So it was give and take situation. Netflix didn't want to renew more seasons because they saw this as a disadvantage because they're producing Marvel properties as Disney is about to launch their own service. So they were just like, nah, cancel everything, we don't care. And Marvel TV had no idea this was coming because the way Netflix works is they don't tell you anything. There's actually people I've talked to within companies that produce stuff for Netflix, they never once got told what their numbers were before their show was renewed or canceled. They're just like, we have no idea. They just come back and tell us, you're good to go, and then start production on the next season, or they come back to you and they go, yeah, your time's up. So it's an interesting way to look at it, but Marvel had no idea. So you can see why a lot of these seasons just kind of end in the way they do. It's like, oh, all right, that was, that was a thing. Hopefully some of them will have a future outside of what was happening, maybe. I mean, probably not Iron Fist, sadly. 